Oh my gosh, it's been a long day and it's only nine in the morning. apologize I'm a little sleepy today uh, the little princess um, last night before she went to bed she was telling me oh mommy my tummy hurts and of course being a paranoid mom I am going through all the options in my head and I'm thinking is it appendicitis is it Crohn's is it like you know whatever I mean you just you don't you know when you're a mom you just you freak out and, um, and so of course, you know, you're Googling everything and you're coming up with like, you're going to die instead of like, Hey, your kid's constipated. And if you just go and give them some Miralox, they'll be fine. You know, because that's how Google is. They love to like, totally freak you out. Uh, anyhow, so didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but uh, I still wanted to make sure that I got you a good video today. And so, uh, we're going to go over one of my animals that I haven't, I don't think I've covered before. Um, last time when I was going to do the video last time, um, or when I was doing the feed video, um, they, I had already fed them. They still had crickets in their cage. And so I wasn't worried about feeding them. And so I kind of, I think I just brushed right over the top of them. So I didn't really give you a very good introduction. So let's make sure you get an introduction today to my tree frogs. So, um, these are my tree frogs and you can see they are like, they call them like white tree frogs, but a lot of people call them like the dumpy tree frogs. Hey, Chubby, what you doing? Hi, cutie pie. Um, I keep these guys just in an 18 by 18 by 18. Let's see if I can find your friends. Um, everybody's hiding down in the plants. They like to hide in this one. And, oh, there you are. Okay, this one I am not sure on. It was given to me. I think it's a Cuban tree frog. Um, because it's pretty big. It's, a, it's about the same size as the dumpies, the whites. And so I suspect he's a Cuban. The only thing is, whoop, and he jumps like crazy. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Um, he, <laughs> so I'm going to try to hold him really carefully. I think, I think he's a Cuban. Um, but I don't know if anybody knows who this guy is. Try to give you like, um, he is a really good jumper. Um, he is about the same size as the dumpies. I think he may be a Cuban, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, let's see. I have another dumpy in here somewhere, but of course they hide really, really well. And I have no idea where they're hiding. Usually they're in that plant. Let's see. I need to like, my plants are all... Some of the plants are not doing as good as others. This one's doing good, the philodendron, or whatever this is. And this one's doing good, but this one, not so much. I think I'm going to replant this one. And I have no idea where the other one is. So, all right, well, this is one of the... Come here, you little guy, come here. So, this is one of the whites. And they are cute. I mean, absolutely the most adorable frogs. If you're going to keep these guys, though, any kind of tree, any frog, actually, any kind of amphibian, even, um, you really need to make sure that you don't handle them a lot. They really, they can absorb, like, um, whatever you have on your skin. So um, if you do handle them, make sure you wash your hands really well. Um, with water. Well, first, you know, you use soap to get any oil off or lotion off and then rinse really, really well to make sure you get all the soap off because you don't want to get anything on their skin that can hurt them. Um, and then these guys are tree frogs, so they need to get misted every day. They do really well 
in, I mean, I still give them a, wa a big water bowl that they can actually, all three of them can fit in here and submerge. I need to refill it and clean it out right now. Um, but they do really well in like a, just a, a humid environment like this um, with, you know, live plants, lots of substrate, lots of places for them to hide. Um, you know, they like to actually get inside and go behind the, um, actually, see, I got saran wrap on the top, except for the one little area where the light comes in for the, for the plants. Um, but they like to actually crawl into these little, these little cracks. <laughs> so if you have an exoterra tank, you will probably run into the same problem. And the crickets like to crawl in there too, which is a huge pain in the butt. Um, I have started training mine to eat mealworms just out of a bowl. I'll just put a bowl in here full of mealworms and they'll just eat it all out of the bowl. It makes it so much easier to clean and keep um, the noise down. I really hate all the noise with crickets. Come here, baby. So, yeah, I hear these guys are just, but they're really great pets. My daughter loves these frogs. She absolutely loves them. They are her favorite pet out of all of our pets. She loves them. They will just hang out on her arm forever. So, I mean, if you have kids and they want an amphibian, I would say the whites are probably a really good place to start. These little dumpies um, are a really good place to start. They're really easy to care for, really easy to house, and really good-natured frogs. <laughs> and they will eat just about anything. So you got to be careful. I actually have, like, my, my Cuban is in here with them. Let's see, where'd she go? There she go. I think it's a Cuban. Whatever that one is. Like, she hangs out in here with the whites because they're the same size. But if you have frogs, um, if one is smaller, there is always a risk of them eating each other because frogs will really just eat anything that fits in their mouth. So you've got to kind of be careful. And I've actually had um, problems with, like, even my fire belly toads, they will like get somebody's leg or something in their mouth and then they don't want to let go and you have to kind of coax them to release. So be really careful with community housing. It's always best to house them alone or um, with same size so you don't run into any problems. So, but yeah, they'll eat just about anything, crickets, roaches, mealworms, um, just keep them misted. Um, always use purified water or make sure that you use... Um, like a water conditioner. And then um, again, just keep your hands clean when you're handling them and they will live a long time and uh, they will be really cute. Oh, I better rinse him off. He didn't like being handled after the Cuban, I think. That was my bad baby. I will, I'll spray you off. So yeah, cute guys. Please give the video thumbs up and like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Bye.